Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my dog picks my makeup. I'm sorry I'm whispering, but there are people in the house now. Um, and there's people doing work, which is probably why you're going to hear a lot of background noise right now at the beginning. Basically, a bunch of my YouTube friends and I decided to do this collab together and we had our dogs or our animals pick our makeup because not all of them have dogs actually. But for me, it's my dog. I have a one-year-old Shiba Inu. He's, a, he's about to be two actually. Well, he's a one and a half year old. And um, I love him so, so much. He's my baby. So yeah. I just had him pick the products that I was going to use in this look like from primer, foundation, concealer, like everything. You're going to see the clips of me trying to get him to pick it. Of course, I had to put little treats down in front of each one because he wasn't going to pick it on his own because we all know how that goes with dogs and he is a stubborn one, trust me. But yeah, this is what I came up with with that look and yeah, the playlist will be down below with everyone that I collabed with and this was so much fun to do. Before I get into this video, I'd love for you to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. You know you want to join my fam because it's awesome and yeah, let's get into this video. Alright, so I have to wake him up now so he can get up and pick my makeup. Let's see how this goes. He's usually super energetic, I don't know. And I never let him on the bed, but he's been on the bed all day. Well, all morning. It's only morning. This is Aries. I'll introduce you to him when you can actually see his face. He's like hiding. Sometimes he gets camera shy, so this should be interesting. Are you ready to be the star of the show? Hi, this is Aries. I'm a Shiba Inu and I'm a year old. <laughs> he's so cute. I love him. He's my baby boy. So let's see how this goes because he's very weird. I'm going to have to put like a little piece of dog food on each item and hopefully he picks one because sometimes if you move his dog food he thinks you're trying to poison him he's very weird he's so cute i love him hi buddy are you ready to be the start of the show all right come on okay pick one all right so dip brow it is <laughs> he chose the dip brow brow gel from benefit the clear one or the 3d brow tones let's see which one he picks go pick one go Aries, come on, go pick one. Alrighty, <laughs> I have to make sure he doesn't eat both of them because then he's gonna get really full. So he chose the clear brow gel. Now let's see what primer, what eye primer he wants me to use. Benefit, I mean, Benefit, Anastasia or P. Louise. Aries, come back, come. Which one? You have to pick one, buddy. Go. Oh, look at how he's sitting. He's like so confused. Go, pick one. Which one? All right, P. Louise it is. All right, so we have four options for foundation. Oh my gosh, he is going crazy. <laughs> um, we have Dose of Colors, Maybelline, Milani, and Anastasia. It looks like he chose Maybelline. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> All right, now we have powder. Okay, so we have Huda, Fenty, Hourglass, or Anastasia. Let's see which one he chooses. Go. Go, buddy. Aries, come. Okay, he's drinking water. <laughs> he needs a break. Pick one. Hourglass it is. Let's see which face primer he chooses. We have Tatcha and Stellar. I haven't used the Stellar one much, honestly. Okay, good. He chose Tatcha. <laughs> um, I'm not sure I like the Stellar one, to be honest. For concealer, we've got Tarte Shape Tape, Too Faced, ColourPop Pretty Fresh, and Dose of Colors. Let's see which one he chooses. Hang on. Let me put the treats down. All right, buddy. Which one? Dose of Colors. Yes, it's one of my favorites, if not my favorite. Okay, four bronzers. We've got Thrive, Marc Jacobs, Fenty, and Benefit Hula. Let's see which one he chooses. All right, which one, buddy? Go. Are you choosing all the ones? Which one did he eat first? Crap. Alrighty, I'm gonna have to do it again. Okay, ready, ready, set, go. Choose. All right. So Mark Jacobs it is. All right, blush, we've got three options. We've got um, Burt's Bees Toasted Cinnamon, Benefit Dandelion, and Sigma Nymphaea, which is one of my favorite blushes. Like, well, I love these all, honestly. All right, buddy, which one? Go, pick. Dandelion, I think he chose first, but he ate the Sigma one too, but I think he chose Dandelion first. For highlighter, we have Benefit Cookie, Jaclyn, um, the Jaclyn Cosmetics. Highlighter palette, Artist Couture. This is in the shade Illuminati, which I really love, by the way. I got this as a sample on, on Sephora. And this is Dandelion Twinkle, which is a like pinky toned highlighter. So let's see. All right, buddy, which one? Go. 
Artist Couture. <laughs> he keeps swiping two of them, but I'm pretty sure he chose Artist Couture. All right, mascara, we've got Pretty Vulgar, which I got in BoxyCharm. We have Fenty Beauty or Benefit Bad Gal Bang, which is my favorite. I really like the Fenty Beauty one, but I'm not 100% sure I want to commit to buying the full size one yet. Let's see which one he chooses. Wait, wait, hold on. Ready, set, okay, go. Which one? Benefit Bad Gal Bang. I always wear lashes anyway, and I'm not end up wearing lashes, but... All right, which lip liner? There's only two options here. We've Oh, wow, this is really messy. I'm sorry. We've got ColourPop Ripa, which I believe was limited edition, so they don't even sell this anymore. And then we have NYX. NYX? What did I say it like that? Um, NYX Nude Truffle, which is one of my favorites. All of these will go with the lip options that I have, too. So both of these, like, it doesn't matter. All right, which one, buddy? Go. Pick. NYX. For lips, we've got... Fenty Beauty, what is this called? Unveil, which is like the darkest chocolate brown. And then we've got Anastasia Pure Hollywood and Jeffree Star Christmas Cookie, which is like my favorite. I mean, all of these are my favorite to be honest. All right, which one, buddy? Go. Anastasia. Anastasia with the next new truffle will look super bomb. So we've got setting spray. We have the Jeffree Star Morphe and we have Urban Decay On Lighter. Okay, go, big one. Jeffree Star. I've been using this one pretty much every day, to be honest, anyway. I hope I didn't miss any categories, but I honestly don't know. We've got some palettes here. We've got Jacqueline Hill Murphy, um, Jeffree Star Jawbreaker, and Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star Conspiracy. Come on. Hey, hey, one found the floor and you ate it. Pick one. Jawbreaker. <laughs> All right. Oh, gosh. You're going to make me create a colorful look today. Have fun. I know. You just want the food. Thank you for helping mama. Face, guys. Isn't he just so cute? Of course, as soon as I put the camera up, he's like, fine, bye. He was just staring at me with the cutest eyes in the world. I love him so much. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is actually moisturize my face. I didn't have him choose a moisturizer. I should have because I have a bunch, but this is new. I got this in PR. This is the Pixie Hydrating Milky Lotion, and it has coconut and shea butter. So I'm really excited to try this out. It's a lot thinner consistency than I thought it would be. I am trying this on, and I'm also doing like something crazy this trend that's going around tiktok it's the putting moisturizer then powder then your primer or setting spray then primer and then your foundation so we're gonna try that out today it's gonna be quite interesting to see so i'm gonna go ahead and let that soak into my skin while i do my brows and then i'll put the powder on top because i'm afraid <laughs> when i first saw this i was like that episode of friends where ross gets stuck in that chick's apartment with the leather pants he puts lotion on to try to get his pants back up and it creates like a paste they're still they're still not coming on man and the lotion and the powder have made a paste <laughs> that's the first thing i thought of when i thought of this so i definitely think that you have to let this soak into your skin before you set it with the powder so let me go ahead and do that while i do my brows for brows he chose the anastasia beverly hills winter brow this is in the shade soft brown and this is my go-to to be honest okay so now i'm gonna do the whole translucent powder situation aries chose the Hourglass Mineral Veil Translucent Setting Powder. Let's see how my dry skin acts with this. I'm really not sure. I'm just gonna put it, I'm like really scared. Okay, so now I'm gonna take some setting spray because that's the next step, which is crazy to me, but whatever. Um, He chose the Morphe Jeffree Star one. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray a little. Oh, that smells so good. I'm running out of this one. It's like getting really light. It's hard to tell with this one because it's continuous and it's like aerosol. We're gonna let this dry for a little bit and then we're gonna prime. For primer, he chose the Tatcha Salt Canvas. I actually just ordered the liquid canvas. It actually should be here already. It's probably sitting on my porch. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and apply this now and then I'll go to my eye makeup because that way it's not like... I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. My face already feels different doing this. All right, so he chose P. Louise for the eye base. And then I usually mix it in with the concealer, which he chose the Joseph Colors Concealer, which I'm happy about, by the way. It's my favorite concealer currently. All right, so the palette he chose is the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. And I haven't used this in a while. So the first shade I'm going to take is Gumdrop. And this is like the lavender shade. I've been taking so much purple lately, but whatever. And I'm going to put that in the crease and I'll blend it out with a different shade, but I'm going to pack this on. So now I'm going to take the shade Bubblegum, which is this Bubblegum shade pink. And that's going to blend out Gumdrop. And the last shade I'm going to take is Wow, which is the yellow shade. The last shade in the crease, at least. Um, and then I'm just going to lightly blend that over the pink. So I just went ahead and cut my crease. For the lid shades, I'm going to take first Lemon Drop, which is the sparkly yellow shade. And I'm going to spray my brush first to get a higher payoff. 
<sighs> and I'm gonna put this on the inner like third of my lid. Next, I'm gonna take the shade Cotton Candy, which is the pink shade, and just blend that with the yellow shade. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the shade Bite Me, and that's gonna go on the rest of the lid. So for foundation, he chose the Maybelline Superstay, which is one of my favorite drugstore foundations. I haven't used it in a while though, so I kind of forgot what it's like, but it's still great. For concealer, he chose the Dose of Colors Concealer, which is my absolute favorite concealer of all time right now. It is kind of matte, but like it still looks really good like under my eyes that are super dry. It's crazy. And now I'm just gonna set that with the Hourglass Veil powder that I already used earlier, which is crazy how good my makeup looks right now after all that stuff. And I'm gonna bake because I'm gonna do my lower lash line and I'm sure that it's going to have a lot of fallout. All right, so for the lower lash line, I'm actually gonna take a different shade. Wow, what? So I'm gonna take the, sh the shade Soaked, which is this bright blue, and I'm gonna blend it toward where this meets and make the wing, like extend the wing further down. I don't know if that makes any sense. Just watch what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm actually gonna take a pencil brush because it might be easier to do what I'm trying to do here. And now I'm just gonna blend that into the purple to make the purple a little bit more deep and blue tone. And now I'm gonna take the shade Delicious, and that's gonna go really close to my lower lash line. Now I'm gonna take the shade Jawbreaker, and that's gonna go in the inner corner of my eye. For bronzer, he chose the Marc Jacobs Omega bronzer, which is one of my favorites. I absolutely love it. For blush, he chose the Dandelion blush from Benefit, which I haven't used much. I've only used it a couple times, but I was so happy to receive this in PR. Totally forgot I need to wipe away this bake. Hello, where is my head? I look really white casty right now. I don't know why. Oh, you know what I want to do before I forget is put a little bit of brain freeze on my brow bone. It's giving me such a white cast. Like, why does it look like that? For highlighter, he chose the Artist Couture Illuminati highlighter. I got this for free with my, well, like, it was a sample at Sephora. It's so pretty. Like, look at it. But it's so tiny. I love it. Like, I think I might purchase this when I'm done with it. Although, this might last me, like, forever, to be honest. But it's such a gorgeous highlighter. Artist Couture highlighters are one of the best formula. Ooh, before I do that though, I'm gonna spray. I'm looking at myself in the monitor and it looks like so much worse in camera, like on the camera, the white cast, than in person. It's so weird, I don't know. Isn't that stunning, guys? It's so pretty. Oh, you know something? I forgot to use the brow setter. So this is the 24-hour brow setter that I was supposed to use from Benefit that I was supposed to use after I did my brows. So let's use it now. I love this stuff. It really makes your brows like stay in place. And I love that I can kind of comb them upwards and do the fluffy brow situation without having to do the fluffy brow situation with the, with the soap. For mascara, he chose the Benefit Bad Gal Bang. It's literally my favorite. I absolutely love it. I use it in every single look that I do, but I'm going to put on some lashes after this anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to go put on some lashes off camera and I'll be right back. So for lips, he chose the NYX Nude Truffle Lip Liner, so I'm going to put that on first. So um, I'm going to fill them in because... <laughs> He chose Pure Hollywood ABH for the lip color, and that is way lighter than this. It's gonna probably be like an ombre lip situation. And this is what it looks like. And yeah, that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and I hope you consider subscribing before you leave. And don't forget to check out the other channels and the playlist. It'll be down in the description box. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.